So in this example, if we apply direct substitution, we could say that's going to be e to the 0 minus 1 over 0 cubed. And that's going to give us 0 over 0. So we have an indeterminate form. So let's go and apply L'Hopital's rule. So therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 is just going to be e to the x over 2x squared. Now, as I apply direct substitution, I get e to the 0 over 2 3x squared, thank you, which equals 1 over 0, right? which is not in indeterminate form. So I'm done with applying the derivative. But we now know that this limit is undefined. It does not exist, right? right? So we can say that the limit does not exist. But what if we need more information? What if we want to determine, is it going you know, to the left, to the right, whatever else? So therefore, we might need to incur what is the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of e to the x over 3x squared? And what is the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the x over 3x squared? Right? It doesn't exist as a, as, a, as a perfectly fine answer, but, uh, but as far as what if on the answer choices, they're actually, it's more specific. It's more infinity or negative infinity. That means we need to kind of see what's happening from the, le from the behavior from the left and from the right. Right? So again, we can just pick a number, anything from the, you know, from the left, that's going to be negative numbers. Um, and so if we think about this as far as being a negative, anything to the left of the negative, that's just going to drop that down. But that will still be positive, and that will be positive. So therefore, did I write? <laughs> So if you plug in negative, any negative number in for that, what does that do to the power? It just brings it down to the denominator, right? So it's still a positive value. If you plug in a number here, it's squared, so that's going to be positive. So therefore, that's going to positive infinity. And then if you plug in any positive number, that's obviously going to be positive as well. So therefore, we could also say that the limit of all of this is going to equal infinity. Yes? Like technically, if it does not exist, that is a perfectly that is true, right? But um, a lot of times we like to get more specific on the nature of the of the limit and identify the direction because remember the limit, the definition of the limit is the value that the function is approaching. Well, infinity is not a value, right? However, a lot of times we like to disclose like the um, the direction that the function is approaching. Okay, so like for instance. Like this has a vertical asymptote at 0. And the limit definitely doesn't exist, right? However, if we had a function like this, yes, the limit doesn't exist at 0. But there's something interesting that's going on because the, from the graph, from the left and the right, is both approaching you know, infinity from the same value. So a lot of times, and again, you're, never, you're not going to be asked to choose does not exist or infinity like if it's going from there. So it's, not, it's either going to be one type or another. Okay, but that's just the general ideas. We can get more a little more specific 